girlfriend carved her up by the look of it. Girlfriend? Yeah, the neighbours reported a female domestic who's just screaming and this one gets stabbed in the guts. Did you talk to her? No, the ambos wouldn't let me near her. Okay. What did the neighbours say? Did they see anything? Oh, the old lady next door said this place is a nest of dykes. Their words? Oh, you know, close enough. So what we got, right? We got uh, two dykes tucked up in bed, coke to the eyeballs. Argument starts, one grabs a knife, stabs the other one in the guts. Prison tracks it. I don't know where the knife is. Virginia. Yeah, we're at the premises at Westmoreland Street. It's a stabbing. A uh, female. Yeah, we think it could be one of the escapees. Well, it's either her or the perpetrator is. And we think they might be in the central district. She's not bad, huh? Oh, yeah. Not much on the clock. Yeah, right. Well, so long as it goes. Yeah. She feels really hot, Jerry. Yeah, I think she's sick. Can you give her the papers? The guy I bought it for me. He's bringing them around later. Louie. OK, you get half now and half when we get the papers, all right? I think this is the last I got, so... Much appreciated. Thank you. Thanks. Look, when we get there, like, we'll sell the car and I'll send you the money back. I promise, Jerry. Don't you think this is a bit crazy, then? No, it's not. You know, Emma was pining for me and the bloody woman who, who they gave it to, that she wouldn't bring her to see me. Don't you think this is a rather radical way to deal with it all? You know, Emma's sick. You know, I walk around the back of their house. There was Emma, like, crying in the bedroom. And she's in bloody kitchen with a feet up. We got the keys, let's go. Can you drive? It's been yeah. a while since I've been behind the wheel. Pat, I'm really worried about Emma. Oh, come on, come on, she'll be all right. What's the matter with her? She needs to see a doctor. Oh, we can't bloody see her. Well, I'm we not going... Go I am not... We can go to a chemist. Well, I'm right? not going anywhere until Emma can see a doctor, all right? <laughs> Shit. There's a hospital near here, I think. Oh, why not just drive us straight back to the slammer? There's always Maxine, Deb. No, why not, Maxine? Man, she'll dob us in. She's not going to dob us in. Well, shit, what do we do? Hey, can you slow down? I'm only going for... Just slow minutes. down or I'm going to... Okay, up. okay. There's a cop car behind us. They're not after us, don't worry. God, oh, put your head down. down. How do you think you're going to go north if you can only go for k Just drive in yeah. Emma's burning up back here. What about Maxine? Who is Maxine? She's the crisis center doctor. All right. We're going to play it my way. We're not going to take any risks. So, um, how long has she been this car? Ah, a couple of days. Yeah. Mm. How's she been eating or sleeping? Ah, not bad. Yeah, good. You are her foster mother, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. OK, well, I think she might have hepatitis. What one? A? B, C? Don't, don't really know yet. Can kids get that? Yeah. Yeah, they can, yeah. What, if they're badly treated, neglected? Do you have reason to believe <laughs> this child's been uh, neglected, Jerry? No. No. OK, well, I recommend that she be taken to St Andrews and have some tests. What, a hospital? Yes. Oh, look, we can't be doing that now. Look, if you don't take her to the hospital now, I will call an ambulance. Look, I'll come she down with you to the hospital. Let's go. Can we do this tomorrow? Jerry, can I have a word with you, please? Yeah. Thank you. OK, um, what's going on in there, Jerry? Nothing. Nothing? Well, Nothing. is that Emma's foster mother or not? Yeah, it is. Then what is going on? Is this a neglected child I'm looking no, at or what? What no, do you know no, about this that I don't? I just told Deb that I'd keep an eye on Emma for her. Did you? Yeah. OK, well, in that case, I think maybe I should give her a call then. Maxine, don't call her. Well, Look, she's stuck in there. She can't do anything about Jerry, it. You're going to get her all upset. I do not trust that woman to take Emma to the hospital. I just don't, so... Max, Max, Max. Sorry. I'll take her to the hospital. OK, they've been spotted in our area. OK, how long ago was that? About 11.30. What we got, Deke? Fingerprints just called. This is definitely the girl with the knife. Okay. How's the victim? Uh, well, I reckon she had pulled through, but we can't talk to her for a couple of hours. Yeah, she's a bloody lucky bitch. Yeah, well, hopefully she won't have too many places to hide. Um, look, we've got to be careful with Patricia Wilson. Why? She's a chameleon, OK? She's quite an actress. Good with disguises. Yeah, absolutely. Very good actress. I even met her socially once. Comes across as this very successful Eastern Suburbs businesswoman. Ah, one of your charity functions, right? Well, it's not all football and meat pies, mate. OK. Now, this one up here, Debbie Lord. I've had a fair bit to do with her. She's up for Social Security fraud. She was uh, claiming for about two years while she was pulling a full wage. Uh, she's uh, also a prostitute with a medical condition and she's got an infectious disease. Now, she's also got a daughter named Emma. She'd be about four. No, she'd be about five now. OK, we find the kid, we find the mother. Ellen, you've got to find out who's been looking after little Emma while Debbie's been in jail. Yep. OK, schools, daycare, foster parents. Uh... Yep, yep, yep.
taking her to the hospital. Oh, that's right. bullshit. Why wasn't Maxine able to fix up Emma, Jerry? Debbie, I'm concerned just, about you. All right, the plan no, is no, we no, are no. going to wait till it's nearly dark, then we're going to hit the road. I thought if you could just drive us to a station, drive us out of town, and then you can hop on a train back, all right? Then we're going to be out of your life. Debbie, do you want to do this? Of course she does. Have you thought about this? Do you really yeah, want to do, do this? Yeah, I do. I do. This is the best thing for me and Emma. Yeah. She shouldn't have involved you in this. I mean, she's not at our house, is yeah, she? No, Vince, she's not. OK, it's just that if we both get involved with her and an escapee, Shh, I can get this down. She's not at our house, OK? Where is she? OK, Vince, I need to talk she to doesn't her. want to see you, OK? No, I'm her lawyer. I need I to talk to her. I know you're her lawyer. She doesn't trust you. That's not my she fault. She gets recaptured, OK? She's going to get another year or so on top Vince, of the current calm sentence. Down, man. And calm Emma down. is going to become a ward of the state. Look, OK, so she's going to lose her altogether, is that what you're saying? Exactly. Yes. Altogether. Forever. If she turns herself in, will she get extra time? Yeah, maybe. Maybe an extra six months. Six months? But I need to talk to her, Jerry. I need you to take me there, yeah, okay? she's not going to listen to me. I need Debbie to talk to me. Yeah, she stabbed her girlfriend. Her girlfriend. And she's a dyke. Yeah. Yeah, one of the escapees. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, me a couple of beers, all right? All right, we've got a report of a woman in a park slashing herself with a carving knife. About five, seven, late twenties, long shoulder length, dark hair. Ellen, let's go. You got anything on the other two? Yeah, two women, young child, behaving oddly at a service station on the south coast. Right. They was checking into it. We got these kids out of here. It's not a freak show. Yeah, can we clear the area? You could have please. Been okay. Get them right out. Okay. What are you doing here? Come on, don't hurt yourself anymore. Your friend's going to be all right. Got that? What are you doing with the knife? Don't come near me. Right. Okay, put the knife down, please, Kate. Put the knife down. All no the photographers gonna are going to be here soon. Come on. Take a photograph. Kate. The headlines. Kate. Lesbian Back mole. Kate. Knifes herself in park. Your friend's all right. Okay, she's hey. all right. And she's okay. There's no need to hurt yourself anymore. i got some news for you. Put the knife you. down. Put the knife down, you put please. The you put it down. Detective, put the gun away. Put the gun away. It's Back not off. necessary. Put the gun away. Detective. I'll tell you what I'll do. Detective. I'll make it easy. Let's I'll put this place. away. You want to stab someone? You hate blokes that much? You hate blokes that much? Kay. Stab me! Kay. Go on, you bloody lesbian mob! Get all up, get all up. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Get all up. Get all up. Hold still for a minute, Kay. Can Cut. you just can you, you just, can you just can you just hold? Hang on to it. Uh, can you, just hold Kay? Have you, I just need to know. Have you got any drugs in your system? Have you taken any drugs? Look, if you don't tell me, I'm going to have to get you sent to hospital and get your stomach pumped. And as you well know, that is not a pleasant experience. Come on, Kay. It makes no difference to us, but the doctor needs to know if you've taken anything. Two lines of coke. Is that it? Okay, can I just have a look here? You should be looking after me, you know. Your patient bit me. Deke, I haven't finished eating here. You're, you're trying to tell me that she comes before me. Deke, I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, so that's the way we play, is it? Just you, um, just, is that the way we play, Bill? Deke, can you just step outside? Come on. Deke, you are next, I promised. Right. Right. I should have shot her in the leg or the arm. I just should have shot her. What for, Deke? God's sake. You should know. 90% of dykes in jail have got a drug habit. Well, if that's the case, I didn't see any trap marks. Well, I don't think she was going to show you. Can you do a blood test? Look, Dick, even if I do a blood test now, nothing's going to show up anyway. Not me, not... Doctor. Her. Okay, well, I'll have to ask for her permission. I can't. I'll ask her. All right? Thanks. Now, you understand, Kay, that you've been charged with escaping from lawful custody. You'll have to face the magistrate tomorrow morning. You understand that? Hmm? Sit down. Okay, why don't you tell me about Leah? Why'd you want to hurt her like that? Was it having money or was it something personal? What? I want to see her. Well, I'm afraid that's not possible. I've got to see her. I've got to tell her. What have you got to tell her, Kay? I didn't hmm? mean to hurt her. You didn't mean to hurt her? Was she having an affair? Is that what happened? Is that why you escaped? What, and then, then you had a fight? Okay, well, what about the other two? What other two? The two women who escaped with you. Can you tell me where they might be, where they were heading? We know that you got as far as central with them. 
Now, did they indicate to you where they might have been going, what they might have been doing, anything like that? I got no idea. Right, well, I think you do have an idea, Kay. You're in it. Shit, I can't wrap up to your I ears. made her bring me. You get recaptured, you're going to lose Emma. That's it should bullshit. become a war to the That's state. That's bullshit. I reckon you should listen to him, dude. Why should I listen to him? Give him a chance. He told me I'd get a bond, but I ended up in prison. Why should I listen we to him? We could have won the appeal. You could have ended up in a, one of those cottages with Emma. Yeah, well, I guess he screwed up the appeal. Yeah, it screwed it up big time, Deb. Well, I'm not going back. I'm telling you that now. I'm not going back. I'd rather be dead. Oh, come on. Don't come on me. You have no idea what it's like in there, Jerry. I mean, the way people treat you, they I mean, I'm not treated like some leper. I mean, it's shit. I'm not going back. It's not that long, Deb. You know, not when you, not when you consider it in proportion to your whole life. Oh, and how long is that, Vince? How long is that for me? You know, someone with AIDS. You don't have AIDS. You're HIV. What's the Big difference? Big difference. What is the difference? Big difference. All right, what you should consider here is Emma. Oh, so uh, do you have any kids, by any chance? Do you have it's any kids? It's not about me. It's about Emma. Yeah, I know it's about Emma. I considered her. That's why I got out, to find her. You know, I'll tell you one thing, I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for her, all right? I would have been ended up hanging from some pipe or something. I would have been up dead. Deb, look, just, just give yourself up. All right, there are mitigating circumstances. There's your daughter's well, illness. Why don't you just piss off? Who's this? Um, I'm Deborah's solicitor, uh, Vince Cellini. Ex. Did you call him? No, I didn't. I don't want him here. Why don't you just go, mate? Piss off then, sweetie. You're too young for me. The lady knows where to find you when she needs you. Come on. Deb, just give me a call, OK? You know where I am, day or night? I'll wait for you by the lifts. No, see you. No, I'll wait. Bye. How'd you go? Did you get Emma admitted to St Andrews? No. No, because you never took her, did you? You know how I know that? Because I just saw a photo of Debbie in Bill's office. Jerry, can you at least get her to come and see me, please? She won't. She's scared. OK, well, she at least taking her medication. But all she cares about at the moment is a little girl. Well, good. With good reason, because I tell you what, Emma needs treatment. She's OK. OK, look, they, um... She? They got one of the prisoners. Yeah, they've charged her with attempted murder. So it got to do with Debbie? Well, I'm wondering whether or not she's involved, whether we should tell Bill. What? what? Are you for what? real? Yes, I am for Bill real. Telling. Everything that we do here relies on the trust and the cooperation that we've set up with the police force and Maxine, Bill. No, and... no, I'm not going to tell Bill. You're not going to tell Bill oh, and really? neither is Vince. Oh, really? Debbie trusts us. That's She right. is our client. Yes, she is our client. But it is only a matter of time, Jerry. So it's OK True. for you to get involved, but not me? Oh, come so, on. She was my client. She was my client. Vince, what's the going rate for aiding and abetting an escaped prisoner? About seven years. Think about that, Jerry. That's yeah. seven Great. Okay, years. good, good. Worth so never used to roll about it. We never used to roll over for the cops. We never aided and abetted an escaped prisoner before. Well, We've never done that. We've had so many escaped prisoners come in and out Rubbish. of the crisis centre. You know, we do our work, the police do their work, and what you're suggesting is police work. The only reason you're doing it is because of your relationship with Bill. My what? Relationship. What relationship? Yeah. How you feeling? A bit weird. They say the blood bank had to put out a special call for O positive. Is that right? Yeah, that's impressive. I'm out of here later on today. Good. It's quick. I don't like this place. No. Must remind you a bit of the slammer, eh? So is that where you and Kay met, is it? And what, she got out and then, uh... She didn't want to continue on with the relationship? Is that what happened? No, that's not what happened. But you must have been pleased when she turned up at your flat, yeah? What happened? What, you, um, ended up in bed together and one thing led to another and it turned sour, didn't I it? said she couldn't stay. My flat was the first place anyone would look. She was wanting to get away and she wanted me to come with her. Get away to where? Where to? I don't know. I said I didn't want to walk out on my job. It's hard enough to get if I walked, I'd never get another one. Well, you know, she might have taken that as proof that you had another lover. And that's why you wanted to stay there. Is that right? Have you got another lover? It's all right. I've, I've read Kay's file. I mean, I know she's got a very Look, jealous disposition. With Kay, it's all or nothing. 
She'd call me once a week. A weekly phone call. Mm. She'd start out quiet, but then she'd end up raving. She had it in her head there was someone else. There was no one. Well, no one important. So what happened? What, you're telling me that uh, she stabbed you for nothing? She took it the wrong way, that's all. Rose means nothing to me. OK. Well, you know Kay wants to see you. Yeah? Yeah. I want to see her too. Yeah, I think she's a bit sorry about what happened, you know. I want to explain. Yeah. It might be a bit, a bit difficult. That's the only problem. You know, I mean, she's in custody and you're our witness. Yeah. Look, Kay can't help the way she is. I mean, she loves me, I know that. Yeah. Can't you do something? Well, I'll, I'll try, but I mean... You know, I have to talk to my boss and I know what she's going to say. She wants you to give us a little bit more to go on. Like what? Well, you know, where the two girls are that escaped with Kay, where they might be now. Don't know that. Well, you do want to see Kay, don't you? Yeah. But I'm not saying a word until I do. All right. Well, I said to Ellen, make sure the dot bends over and touches her toes. She did all right. You see the expression on Ellen's face? I see the expression on my face. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy shit! <laughs> what? Hey, all right, hey, hey, hey. All right. Cool it. Come on. Saw OK. Saw she saw had every right. All right, let's break it up here. What happened, Ellen? Tell me what happened, please. You can ask me to strip search the prisoner. Okay, what are we looking for? Drugs, concealed weapons, the usual. I want this needle right. dick charge okay. for ways just done. Okay, let's settle it. 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 It's OK. You will not be charged with what happened here, OK? I'll square it away. You will not be charged. You will square not be charged. Square away being humiliated. I'm sorry about being that. Being perped on by a bunch of I'm, filthy central okay. cops. It's all right. It's all right. You can tell you are OK, OK. Can I have a private word with you, please? Can I just have a private word? Can I Can I just have a private word? Can I strip search with a private It's OK. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Now, listen to me. Listen. I went and saw Leah. OK? She wants to see you. All right? Yeah, I think she wants to make it up to you. She wants your forgiveness. Yeah, I've got a problem. My boss isn't going to let it happen unless you give me something substantial. What's substantial? The whereabouts of the other escapees. Can you do that for me? Patricia's got a place. You can die more. Up where? Queensland? Up where? Forget it. What? Forget it. Okay. All right. Come on. Right, have you calmed down? Yes. Good. Okay, Ellen's sticking to her guns. Don't so, make a if you charge Kay Barlow, Ellen will be giving evidence against you. Where? Usual place. Where? There's a hostile witness. Yeah, I suppose so, and I'll be backing her. Will you? Yeah. Well, I think this goes back a long way with me and Ellen. We'll kind of a chat. No, 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 hey, wait. No one's going to be talking to anybody about anything. If you decide that you're going to give that young constable a tough time, then life is going to get very tough for you. Is it? Yeah, it is. I don't need this kind of crap from you. I need to know that you're working with me, not against me. I always work with you. Yeah, well, lovely. Let's see that continue. Now, how'd you get there? King here, eh? Yeah, I suppose. Hey, Dex? Yes? Have you had anyone look at your hand? Yes, boss, I have. Hey, Bill. Emma's been taken from foster care, so we can assume we've got a child travelling with our two escapees. OK, so, look, I don't want Deacon anywhere near this, but we've had a fresh sighting. Honestly, I don't see why this is such an issue with you, Jerry. I trust the guy. And you know how much effort Bill put into helping Emma and Debbie last week. You know that. Yeah. Right, is Vincent around? Uh, yes, but he's with a client. That client wouldn't happen to be Debbie Lord by any chance, would it? No. You heard she escaped from Mullawa this morning? Yeah, yeah. I did hear. Has she been in contact with you yet, by any chance? No, she hasn't. Right, well, when she does, can you tell her to turn herself in? Because no good's going to come of it for her. Not much good in any of it, really. So she hasn't made contact with you? No, she hasn't. Is that right, Maxine? Don't ask me. Not my client. Talk to Jerry. 
All right, well, you tell Vincent when he's finished to contact me, will you? And just one little word of warning here. The girls have been seen in this area. We've got the dogs out. So I'd stay right away from the lower end of the street and roll you. Okay? Wait, will you be careful with this? Do you, do you see how close this is coming to you now, Jerry? Do you see how close this is coming to all of us? Just to guess today, OK, it was today. Yeah. a bit better if you ask me. I don't think she's hot. No, I don't think she is better, no. There's, there's a chopper out there. There's yeah, dogs. If you're not going to help you can just everywhere. go. Right. Deb, let me take her for a while. Let Will me take, take her. Look, I think this is a bad idea. I think you should just give it to me and I'll get it to you somehow. I don't know. It's not to her. I can't do it. You know, she's pining for me. She didn't understand when I was away before, you know? I'm not going to do that to her again. Maxine's really worried about it. Well, Maxine can bloody stop worrying. No, you take these. OK. Let's go now. Okay. Yeah. Have you got everything? Yep, yeah, you grab that. Bloody hell. You coming, Jerry, or what? Thanks, <laughs> don't. Don't, don't do that. that car, don't, 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 don't. Oh, shit. Must be a stolen car. Okay, well, they're looking at the car, they're not looking at us. We're just going to go to the left here and we're going to go slowly up the stairs. There's nothing to connect that car to us. Are you coming? Just walk slowly, slowly. Bloody know that that car was stolen. Hotel security, they circulate like a list of all the cars going go in and out. I never gave reception our rego number. There's nothing to connect we, that car with this room. We bought a bloody stolen car. We might as well have nicked one with your bloody bucks. Oh, shut up, they're going to get it. Oh. All right, then, well, we need to get another car. I've got no cash. I'm sorry. Okay, then, we'll, uh, we'll nick one. Mm. Great idea. It's going to mark us when we're right, on the then, highway. Or a train or a bus. Yes. The cops are crawling all over the place out there. You reckon you're going to last two minutes? We're going to have to split up. No way, man. We do not split up. One hour ago, it was really hard to get out of here. It is now completely impossible. <sighs> Where are you going? I'm going to the bar. The bar. Well, look, let's just say there's a middle-aged guy waiting for somebody like me to take home to his waterfront apartment. If I'm not back, I've struck lucky. Well, what am I going to do? Oh, you want my honest advice? You drink the mini bar. Live it up while you can. Shit. What am I going to do now? I've got Emma. What needs some help with Emma? What well, can I stay at your house? Sorry, babe, no. All right, then I'll have to stay here. I think about it in the morning, and if she's a little bit better, then I'll... I'll think what to do then. Look, Deb, I'll put the hard word on Vince and Max and I'll try and get some cash for you, you know? You no, know, no, I'm no, not no, going to abandon you, OK? Don't worry about it. It'll be cool. Shit. Let me in. Oh, my... Quickly. Bloody cat. Let me in, quickly. What? Come on, let me in. Let me in. Hurry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus. What happened? No middle-aged men? I can't do it. I just went down to the bar and it was full of people and I couldn't do it. I think I've lost my touch. Oh, jeez, Deb. What are we going to do? Always the mini bar, babe. Oh, you really are so unhelpful. Well, your best option is just to piss off, mate. Well, I can't do that. Yeah, well, I'm not leaving Emma. And I'm not going to leave you. I need some money. For Debbie? Yeah, I'm worried about her and Emma. You don't seem to give a shit about any of this. Hey, I gave her the best damn advice I could. All she had to do was be patient, and then we would have won that appeal. Right. And now she's in a jam, what are you doing about it? Nothing. Thank yeah. You. Thank you again. Can you do me a favour? Stop making it personal? I know, but it, oh, it just shits me that, you know, that the system punishes the kid. Emma was a happy little girl until Debbie got locked up and then suddenly she's stuck with this bitch of a foster mother who doesn't give a shit about no, her. No, doesn't that's not, no, that's her. not clear that, yet. That is clear enough. What was Debbie doing in Mullawa? She should have been in some low security cottages yeah, well, with, with Emma or, or in work release or something. Well, she was waiting for a transfer, okay, to get into one of those right, cottages and right. take Emma with Pedophiles her. get off on probation and she gets 18 months for trying to make ends meet? Fair. You know, the system screwed her and, you know, if they catch up with her, they're going to screw her. Yeah, and they're going to screw you, okay? They catch you harbouring an escapee, you're going down. And you defend me? Get me off? 
get you off. Oh, no, look, there's limits to what I can do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would you miss me if I went to jail? But you're not going to go. But would you miss me? Tell me you'd miss me. Yeah, I'd miss you. <laughs> yeah, I'd miss you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> With you. I'm fed up with the back teeth with your remarks. I'm entitled to say my remarks. It's bloody Australia, you know. I can yeah, still well, say what I'm I want. I want to smack in the head. Yeah, well, as soon as we put the dike down, you can try, eh? Keep your opinions to yourself, you're offensive. Huh? Don't tell me uh, you like dikes, do you, Billy? I do, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah like who, for instance? My sister. Thanks, guys. Gotta search your conscience, Deke. See if you didn't help to inflame this situation. I didn't do anything wrong here, you know, you buffhead. You hear me? Kay tried to do herself in while she was in the cell. She's in the hospital. Is she all right? Well, I don't know yet. Why'd she do it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe she was, you know, worried about something that happened. Well, is she in here? Can I see her? No, no, you can't. You said you'd swing it for me. Listen, Leah, you did not give me enough to go on. You know, you've got to give me some more. I'm not a dog. Hey, Kay, but Kay wants to see you. She's desperate to see you. My boss wants to help you to see her. But you've got to give me some more. You've got to tell me where these women are hiding. Why would I know that? Listen, these two women mean absolutely nothing to you. All right, do it for Kay. She's in hospital now. I mean, how far some is it going to go? Some fancy hotel. She's in some fancy hotel? Well, whereabouts is it? I don't know. Kay said one of the women took real snob. Thanks, Leah. Well done. Yeah, I was reading in the paper where they, uh, when they could put up a bit of a fight. She bit the arresting officer, apparently. Yeah, everyone's real concerned he might have AIDS. Yeah. Look, I'm just going to open the door. There was a call made from the suite about 45 minutes ago. And they can't be too far away, can they? Time to get the dogs up here, Dee. We have to have dogs. It's a policy of the hotel that animals aren't even allowed on the premises. Yeah, well, I've got a job to do. Well, if the dogs fail on the carpet, then you're up for compensation. Right? I'd like you to get me a list of all the phone calls that were made out of this room in the last 24 hours. Can you do that, please? All right, so where is she? She's in your car with Patricia. She's in my car. Maxine, I'm sorry, but they had nowhere else to go, so... Wait, if anything happens, I promise I'll take all the blame. I'll say that I borrowed the car without you realising. Oh, great. That's big of you, Jerry. All right, do you want to bring him in? Yeah. OK. Sorry. No. Too late now, isn't it? Wait over there if you like. Uh, how long are you going to be? Well, I don't know. I haven't looked at Emmy yet. It's just we're in a hurry. Yes, I know. I'm aware of that. Yeah. Right. So, how have you been, Deb? I'm fine. Yeah? They still got you on the AZT? Yeah, they have. Look, wherever you go. Don't worry right? about me, okay? okay. I'm, I'm worried about Emma. Yeah, well, with good reason. Her temperature's up. Her skin's yellow and she's probably dehydrating. Right. What are you saying? Well, I don't know. But if she's not treated. <sighs> Shit. Debbie, the time has come to let her go to hospital. 
Right. Now, Debbie, look, I know the situation, I know the risks you've taken, but you did not break out of prison to end up yeah, holding I know, your child in your arms doing nothing, did you? No. So what are you going to do about it? She's right. OK, OK. OK, what? What? OK, I'll go. She can go to hospital. Great. All right, well, what about you? Well, I'll go with her. OK, great. Jerry, do you want to take him? Yeah. Um, look, use whatever name you need to. Deb, OK, we'll fix up okay, the details I'll go later talk on. OK, right. we're going to go to hospital now, sweetheart. Jerry, take my car. Yeah, I'll All go right. your keys. Good. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Max. OK. Max, are you in on this? Yeah, thanks. Uh... Uh, Vince, what? I'm concerned about Jerry. And I'm concerned about you encouraging her. I am not. Yes, she are. She can end up in a cell right next to Debbie, you know that? And at the very least, Maxine, have you thought about the bad publicity that's going to bring the crisis set up? Come on, Vince, you're not thinking about bad publicity, all right? You're thinking about Jerry. Jesus, there are too many lines getting crossed here. There are too many loyalties. Do you know what I mean? Hey, I care about Jerry. You got a problem with that? No, I don't have all right, And I care about Deb, too. She's my client. OK. Now, her best hope was with me. So why didn't you call me in? Well, because it was a medical problem. And it's also a legal one, you. Maxine. Now, where's Jerry taking her? To the hospital? What? You're not going to tell what you, you're not going to tell me. You can oh, treat me no. like a stranger, Max. No, I'm not. But if I start telling you things like that, no, no, you're no. Gonna... Legally, I'm not obliged I... to dob her in, Max. And why would I, Max? I'm on her side. Look, I'll just I'll give you a call when I get back. Okay. okay? That we really. Oh, excuse me, Alicia. Do you uh, want to be able to look around at you before you go? Do you have a warrant? Okay. All right, everyone, come, Alicia. Max, what's right. going on? It's just a standard thing, right? It's, it, they're doing the whole area. Okay. Just stand just in the search of the area, all right? Just if you don't mind, oh, just, um, just waiting there. OK. This is really not a good time for this. Do you want me to deal with this and we can go? Please. Right. No, there's no problem. Okay. We just want to have a quick look at Yeah, OK. Can we get out of the, uh, the foyer yes, area? Certainly. Great. OK, so where do you want to start, Dan? Wherever you like. All right. <laughs> Yeah, read me a book, please. I know. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Debbie. How's Emma? Well, what do you care? They're still doing tests, Vince. Why don't you just go, mate? Just go. But, guys, maybe we should go inside, yeah? Look, Deb, I know you don't believe me, but I've been pushing this appeal through, OK? It's just that these things run on strict legal lines. Now, if I'd pushed it, we could have failed. Well, no one bloody could accuse you of rushing it, yeah, could well, they? Look, oh, Deb, it's all hard. I understand, and some of it's not even fair. But we couldn't appeal the conviction. You pleaded guilty. It's just, it's just the severity of the sentence. That's all. And you know what you have to do. What? What do I have to do? You know what you have to do. Don't you ask are me. You are not going back in there. I'm not going back oh, to take jail. Take a reality what? check, will you? There are cops all over the crisis centre looking for you. Huh? Deb. They want you. Yeah. What Deb. choice have you got? Do you have any friends, family that you can go and no, stay with anybody? No, I don't, you know. I've got Emma. That's all I've got, man. I've got Emma. That's it. I'm not going to lose her, all right? I'm not. Yeah, well, staying on the run, you're going to lose her. Don't get smart. No, it's true. Don't you know get that. smart. You know that. Oh, you're always bloody preaching. All right, well, what about the cottages? Can I maybe get into the well, cottages? It's just that with the them? law says that any prisoner that's escaped automatically goes back into maximum security. Oh, well, that's bloody Dear, You can help yourself with this, OK? By giving yourself up. OK? Yeah. What? If you do that, then I can argue on your behalf. But if you wait for them to get you, you'll never see this one ever again. Deb, look, you know, even if she goes back to her foster mother for a bit, I can still bring her to see you. She's Maxine's patient now, that'll help. Yeah. She doesn't seem to be as bad, you know. It's all right. The doctor said she's going to be fine. All right, I just need a bit of time to think, yeah? Can you just give me, yeah. you know, a bit of time to think? Give me time? Yeah. Uh, get up to State Rail in the airport. See if anything's left in the Nimbin area. Deke, get some people on at Hornsby and Strathfield stations, will you? Deke, the yeah. stations? Yeah, Get on right. with it. Yeah, right. just the investigating officers here. What investigating officer? It's a Kay Barlow's attempted suicide. We'd better do this in my office. I didn't search the dike. 
I wasn't even in charge of her when she made the yeah, attempt. Yeah, well, the officer wants to see you all the time. You asked him to do this, didn't you? She. Oh, she. How wonderful. Yeah, official reprimand. Oh, no, shit, what it is. It's a lot. Yeah, that's it. Stir it up. That'll really keep her on side. Bill, we've arrested Dr. Maxine Summers. Dr. Summers? Yes. Are you in charge? That's right. Yeah. Oh, then you can sort it out for me. Sure. What would you like to sort out? Well, it's just a silly mistake. I was not shoplifting. You weren't shoplifting? Or no. What were you doing? I meant to pay for the thing on my credit card. So you carry a credit card, do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I assume it makes a difference. Oh, well, it sure does, yeah. And of course I meant to pay for the dress. So why didn't you pay for it? Well, I'd been up all night with a medical emergency. It's a small child. Mm -hmm. And I just walked out of that store without even thinking. Right. I was in a complete daze. Yeah, the next thing I knew, somebody was tapping me on the shoulder, and mm. that's when I woke up. Right. I must say, the security people were incredibly rude about the whole thing. Yeah, well, I suppose you have to look at it from their point of view, don't you? It's a very expensive dress, that one. Did you like it? Yes, I did, actually. It was a very nice dress. Yeah. So, can I just pay for it now, on my credit card? Well, no, I'm afraid there's a, there's a slight hitch. Um, oh? We're going to have to arrest you until you can prove your identity. So, uh, oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's very unfortunate. I have a surgery full yeah. of patients. I know. Some of the medical emergencies. Yes, I'm sure. It's very, very unfortunate. Well, it will be if I have you for wrongful arrest. And um, on what grounds would that be, Dr. Summers? I think my QC will be able to think of some. Right. OK, well, I'd look forward to that. So, uh, would you like to come with me, please? Constable, could you help Dr. Summers out? She's very, very tired. I hope you've checked your blood pressure. No, I not Are you just showing some of the classic signs? Is that right? Hmm? I better get checked out then. Yeah. Take it out and put her in the holding cell with you. Thank Keep you, Constable. Right. Deke, yeah. take care of that for me, will you? Sure. This has got to do with Maxine Summers. Take this down to the bar sergeant, will you? See if you can organise it, seeing you're so great at handling women. I'm, um, if you come back in about half an hour, they'll all be ready for you, all those results, OK? So... Hi. Hi. What are you, receptionist and doctor now? Yes, I am. Multi-talented. So where's Jerry? Um, well, she's not here. No, I can see that. Why? Is Vincent here? No, he's not here either. Why? OK, can we have a bit of honesty here, Max, please? Can we have a bit of honesty? Yes. It's obvious the escapees have been in touch with you. I mean, we've actually arrested one of them and she's using your name. Oh. You know OK, that? look, yes, they passed through here, um, but they've gone now, okay. all right? Long so, have you seen Debbie Lloyd? Bill, you and I work on opposite sides. You know that. I know this is a hard thing for you to grasp, oh. but... Have you seen Debbie Lloyd? The reason she broke out of prison is because she heard her child was sick. She couldn't get any information. I mean, you must understand the desperation I, of a parent. I, do. I know okay. you understand. Okay, that. where is she? Is she gone with Jerry somewhere? Look, <sighs> listen, I have dealt with these situations have before. You? Have you? I have dealt with them. I mean, prisoner will escape because there's usually a problem. They want to go and see a wife, fix something up, they That's want to right. see a sick yes, child. Yes. You know, I understand all that. Okay? It's very important that Debbie gives herself up. Now, she's going to be looked at on compassionate grounds, but it's very important she gives herself... I agree with you. What, what, what do you want me to say? Where is she? Her daughter's very sick. Have you seen her daughter? Yourself? Yes, I have. She is very, very sick. All right. So she's at the hospital? Thank you. Everything. Everything. Dad, give yourself up. Okay, don't let him arrest 
Okay. 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 Come on. I've helped you out before. Look. I look at your case on compassionate grounds. Listen to him, Deb. Shit. Can I at least say goodbye to my daughter then? Yes, of course you can. Gonna charge me or what? Not if you get out of here and back to work. Maxine can't cope forever on her own, can she? What, three months? Hey? Eh? Yeah, thank you, righto. Debbie Lord just gave herself up. Yeah, and Kay Barlow just got back from the hospital. Excellent. We got the three of them. Well done. Two. The three. Two. Patricia Wilson's down there. You went and dealt with it, didn't you? No. I gave you the paperwork to go down and deal with Patricia Wilson. You gave me paperwork on Maxine Summers. Patricia Wilson was down there in disguise trying to look like Maxine Summers. What'd you do? I with don't it? know. You gave me the paper that was dealing with Maxine Summers. I thought I was doing you a favour, so I gave it to Ellen. You gave the paper. Ellen, what'd you do with the paperwork? Well, I gave it to the bail sergeant and he released her. He released her? I gave you the paperwork to go down there, you'd see it wasn't Maxine. You'd see I got more on my mind than going down and seeing this with the bloody self. I don't give a shit. No, you get don't. down there. You were supposed to go down there and deal with it. Where's your brain? Now get out there and find her. I'm sorry, Leah. I'm so sorry. I know. It's all right. It's not all right. <laughs> I could have killed you. I love you. I know. I love you. Rose? I was waiting for you. It's over with Rose, I promise. Is your sister going like this? Why don't you take a leave of absence, Deke? Give us all a break. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do that before you'd miss me too much. OK, Deb, come on. Constable here's going to take you off to court. It helps if you're looking good. Thanks, Jerry. I, I promise I'll make it up to you one day, eh? Don't worry. Hey, Deb. You all right? You're doing OK? Yeah. You're all right. Thanks, Jerry. No. Deborah got another six months on top of the sentence. All oh, right. But the best thing is, is the magistrate recommended that she go into one of the cottages straight away with oh, Emma. Oh, great. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that should swing for her, shouldn't it? Uh, I don't a know. recommendation. I don't know. It's a new one, so we'll just wait and see. Well, it can't hurt. Hopefully. Oh, my God. I'm looking at a cab charge for $900. Just left the decimal point out. No, 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 no. No, uh, Jez. It's where to? written $900. Where to? Surface Paradise, Queensland. What? Signed, Dr. Maxine Summers. Can't you refuse to pay? No, 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 no. These are like blank checks. You reckon? Yeah, yeah, you're stuffed. Once they're processed. Um, who would have done this? Patricia. It's Patricia. Patricia who? Patricia, Debbie, Patricia. Debbie, Patricia. One of these stuff, <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> 